my name is Lana and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple binder cover with pockets. Um, it's a great easy project. Um, it's good for back to school or anything that you would use a binder for. Super simple. If you can sew a simple stitch you can do this. Um, and I also have used remnant scraps so you don't have to go out and buy a bunch of fabric and anything like that and it's a lot cheaper than buying the designer binders at the store. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my fabric laid out here. This is just a fabric that I used for another project covering some chairs. Um, so it's kind of like a big leather suede fabric here. And I have my binder. And what I'm going to do is line it up where I want it. Um, and then I'm going to measure so I have about the same length around for my outside piece. So here I have my piece that's going to go on the front of my binder, as you can see. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut two side panels here, and I'm going to do it with the same fabric because I have a bunch of that fabric, and then I will show you how to cut the pockets on this. Okay, so I have my front piece, my inside pieces, and now we're going to cut some pockets. And it's really up to you how you want your pockets to look. Mine, I believe, I think I want to do as an angled po pocket because it'll hold things a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and line up where I want those to be. Measure them out, and you're going to cut two panels of that for each side for your binder um, because I um, would recommend putting a lining in it or a thicker fabric and I have some lining so I'm going to show you how to go ahead and measure out where you want your pockets to be and cut those. Alright, so this is how we want to lay our pieces out. This is the right side of the fabric, the wrong side of the fabric. So we want the right side to be facing in. Put your binder down. 
put your panels also with your right side facing in and make sure you have them cut correctly and take your pockets and as you can see because I did it with a big piece of fabric I did not need to um, cut four panels but like I showed you with the scraps you can save these for later and then you're gonna have two panels for each side so four panels total if you want to use these for something in the future which I always save my scraps so you can do that all right and so I have my pocket lined up my panel on top and don't worry too much with this edge because we're going to fold it over and iron it and sew it all right so there's the basic layout of how you want everything to be um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go and I'm going to iron my inside edges here and stitch them and then show you what that will look like. Next I'm going to show you how to cut your lining. So I just have here some lining that is actually, um, when you iron it, it's sticky. So it'll stick to your fabric. So what I'm going to do is kind of show you how I'm going to line up my panels. You're going to want to make sure it fits here inside your binder and it doesn't go over into here because you're going to have trouble stitching through that otherwise. So go ahead and line up your panels and then I'll show you how to measure your lining. Okay, so now that you have your lining, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if you had four panels that work the same way, I'm going to have my pockets here and I'm going to stitch along this edge here with just a straight stitch. And what you're going to want to do is take your pieces, and this fabric has the same design on either side, but if you had your design on this side, you would want to turn them right sides together with your wrong side out and stitch along here. I'm going to do that with both pockets and then I'll come back and show you what that looks like. So I am back and I got this pocket already set up as you can see with my stitched edge and my lining is inside. So I did a, just a straight stitch to stitch this edge closed. Um, now because mine is kind of pocket style because I have one big panel. I'm going to go ahead and turn this the way that I want it and stick something in there, this little pen here, and get the corner coming out where I want it to be. And then what I'm going to do is stick my lining in there and then I'm going to iron it. Um, so I will do that here real quick, and then um, what I'm going to do is show you how to all start stitching everything together. So, as you can see, I have everything all lined up here kind of nice, and there is my pocket. And what I'm doing is I'm putting my right sides together. So I'll make sure you put your right sides together. Um, your pocket um, should be done because this is how it's going to look on the binder. So your um, nice fabric should already be on the outside. Your seam should be on the inside. You should have sewed um, the seam with your right sides together. 
um, and now you pulled everything the way it's supposed to be, put your lining in, and so the pockets are pretty much done other than being sewed in. So now what we're going to do is line everything up. And um, this is just a little trick that I learned. Um, I recommend using chalk or um, some sort of uh, washable um, something if you're using lighter fabric, but this is pretty thick fabric. So just what I'm going to do is I'm just going to feel my binder line and kind of draw around it with my little thin sharpie here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew basically around my line and take your binder out and then you have your little template here. So I'm going to start sewing and then when I come back I'm going to show you how I clean up the edges and we're going to try it on our binder. So I have everything sewn together now and what I'm going to do is trim off the excess. Um, I'm probably going to leave a little bit in the middle here just so it'll fold under when it's on the binder and look a little bit nicer. Alright, so here it is. So we're going to go ahead and turn it inside out and see if we can fit it on our binder. So there you have it, your finished binder cover, and you can do whatever you want with it. You can put little embellishments on the front if you want. Um, I have one where I put some butterflies on it. This is kind of a spade fabric, so I might leave it as is. Um, but there you go, you have your pockets, and um, great for all sorts of things. Um, so you can go to the doll store, pick some of these binders up, and make them your own. I hope you enjoyed, and good luck!